Hi. Flowchart Maker visualizes your processes and workflows and makes editable charts from a step list in Microsoft Excel. In this quick start tutorial, I'll demonstrate the basic usage of the app. This is what you see when Flowchart Maker launches for the first time. Go to the Purchase slash Support tab. Make sure the licensing status shows subscribed. If not, click the subscribe button to subscribe from Microsoft Store. Start Excel. Go to the Boost Excel ribbon tab. Click New Flow Data Sheet. Enter a file name and click Save. A sample data sheet is imported. Let's add an extra line to the end of the table. ID, 11, Description, one more thing to do. Click the Shape Type cell. Choose a shape type for this new node. On the line where the ID equals 6, enter 7, 8, 10, 11 to the next ID cell. This means node 7, 8, 10, and 11 will be next to node 6. Choose Earth from the template drop-down list on the ribbon. Choose Curve from the Connector Type drop-down list on the ribbon. Click Create slash Update Flowchart. This creates, or recreates, the chart. The app makes sure there are as few crosses as possible. But, you can still fine-tune it to make it more beautiful. Fortunately, Excel has lots of handy tools. Push down the control key on your keyboard. Click the nodes 1, 2, and 9 one by one. Release the keyboard control key. Choose Excel Shape Format Ribbon tab. Click Align, and then Align Middle. Drag one of the selected nodes, move the selected nodes up. Push down the Control key on your keyboard. Click Node 7, 8, 10, and 11. Release the keyboard control key. On Shape Format Ribbon tab, click Align, and then Align Center. Drag one of the selected shapes, and move all four selected shapes toward the right side. Move these four shapes closer. Push down the control key on your keyboard. Click node 3, 4, 5, 6, and 11. Release the keyboard control key. On Shape Format Ribbon tab, click Align, and then Align Middle. Move the selected nodes up. On the Shape Format Ribbon tab, click Align, then Distribute Horizontally. You can repeat the Align command several times. 
against different groups of shapes to get better result. Right-click the connector between the nodes 6 and 8. Choose Reroute Connectors from the menu. Right-click the connector between the nodes 6 and 7. Choose Reroute Connectors from the menu. Align the nodes 9 and 4. Align the nodes 2 and 3. Right-click the connector between the node 9 and 5. From the menu, choose Connector Type and then Connector, Elbow. On the Flowchart Ribbon tab, click Reposition All Labels to move all the labels to be near their connectors. Click Export Chart on the Flowchart tab. Choose PDF Format. Uncheck Row Slash Column Headings and Grid Lines. Click Export on the Toolbar. This is the output PDF file. If you want to restart again, simply delete or rename the chart sheet. And then click click slash update flowchart again. In this tutorial, we go through the steps of creating and tuning a flowchart diagram. Visit our website at BoostExcel.com for more information. Subscribe from Microsoft Store for a one-week fully functional trial.